cooking um, white asparagus. And to do that, I'm going to start with getting some water on the boil. We're going to get a, about mm, a quarter of the way full of purified water because we don't want to cook in just regular tap water because it has a bunch of stuff in it. All right. And I'm going to add some salt to this and put it on the burner at high heat because we want it boiling. You get a pretty a good amount of salt in there. <clears throat> so that's going to go ahead and start. Then we're going to peel the asparagus. And this is white asparagus. And you want to peel it because sometimes it can get real, um, it can get very uh, woody around the edges. And when they're all peeled, we're going to cut off the ends about this far, leaving us with about six inches for these. You can save the rest of this for making a stock, but be sure that you cut off the very end of it because sometimes if it's out of season, it can be pretty dry. Finish peeling the ends of the asparagus and cutting them off till they're about six inches. We're going to run them under some water real quick just to get any dirt or anything that may have been on them off and just shake them dry. Then we're going to take these over to our salted water that is now boiling and we're just going to place them in here. And our asparagus is about halfway done. It's got about six more minutes. All right, our asparagus has been on for 12 minutes and we're gonna go ahead and start the butter sauce for it. And that starts with our pan. We're gonna go ahead and get it nice and warm. And we're gonna add four tablespoons of butter or a half a stick or about two ounces. And we're gonna let this melt down just a little bit. We're not going to add any uh, we're not going to add oil to this because we want it to get a little bit brown. And this is just under four tablespoons. I've got some butter that I made up the other day. This has uh, basil and some nice garlic in it as well and this helps to kind of spice it up a little bit so I usually make some of this about once a month and I'm going to use about a tablespoon of that which added to the other three tablespoons gives us the four tablespoons that we need for our recipe here and what we want is for this to just start a little bit higher. We want this to just start bubbling in and we're going to have it turn a nice brown color. And you'll see it's kind of starting to sizzle a little bit around the edges. And it smells wonderful with the basil and garlic. And, it's, and also when you have the garlic is just it's turning just a little bit brown and it's getting just a teensy bit just a teensy bit brown and to that we're going to add a cup of breadcrumbs and it may look like a lot now but once we start putting it in once we start mixing it up and we're going to go ahead and turn the heat off I never made this before. Where's, where's I saw this, this um, on a wrapper, a actually. This is like a, they say it's a brown sauce, but I don't know. It's more like, almost like a, I don't know, sticky bread coating, but we're not frying it. What we're going to do is we're going to put the asparagus in here. So we're going to let that toast up a little bit. You can kind of see a toast in there. So it's just going to be like a coating, but it's not really frying it with the uh, asparagus. Right. Mm. And we're going to put the asparagus in there and it's just going to soak up 
or it's going to get coated in these in these breadcrumbs. So browned up pretty nice. Well, you know it's getting brown. We're going to go ahead and add our asparagus with a little bit of water. Is okay. And you can tell it's hot because they're sizzling in there. All right. And we're just going to toss them in it a little bit. And once they're coated, it may look kind of gross, but it's all right. Interesting. So we're just going to make sure they're nice and coated. I've got my serving dishes here. I'm going to go ahead and start with my asparagus. And it has had plenty of time to get nice and soak up plenty of the juices and the breadcrumbs and get all in there and just really get good and coated. And I'm going to put just a little bit of breadcrumbs on top for to look at. I'm also going to get some of the asparagus, which I think will be very nice with the breadcrumbs on it. And let's see how it tastes. We'll start with some nice from some with some of the asparagus. It's really very good. The uh, the breading makes it taste really nice actually. <laughs> 